questions number three in topic two. Okay. So this is about the right, integer solutions. All right. This equation is called diapentin equation. I'm gonna write that over. Diapentin equation is a polynomial equation with integer coefficient, something like this: three x plus four y. Right? That integer option, but the solution x and y should be integer. Okay. If this one is, uh, let me see, 14. Okay. So, if if they said positive integer, so you can see that right. If x is a two. Y is a 2, that is equal to 14, right? That's right. So, we have only one equation with two variables without this constraint. There are so many solutions, right? Because x, y can be any real numbers because the line looks like this way, okay? Any point on this line will be the solution. But positive integer, there's some restriction. Some particular solution there, okay? So, uh, two variables with one equation, but with some constraint. This will be said, diopentin equation, okay? The solution should be integer, okay? So we're gonna set up the equation over here. A baseball team, a baseball league consists of two poor team division, division A and division B. Okay, we have two division over here. Each division has four teams. One, two, three, four teams. The other ones are four teams. So each team plays every other team in each division, right? Same division and games. So I'm going to pick these teams, okay? These teams played with the other teams and games. Another and games. Another and games. Total in the same division, they played what? Three and games. The next one is, each team plays every team in the other division, the other division N, or oh, this is division N, right? The other division N, division M games, or oh, this is M games. M games, another M games, another M games, another M games. There's a pool of M games. Yeah, there is a constraint, right? Total, each team plays what 78 game schedules. So this is the number of the games for these teams. All other teams is the same situation, okay? They're gonna have all 76 uh, games schedule. That is equals 76. That's the equations. When you see over here, we have a two variable N and M. That's right. But what is the value of N and M? There are many, because when you make this is a line, that is a linear line, right? So many points on linear line. Okay, infinite solutions there. But there is a restriction over here. Using these two restrictions, we have to find the particular solution. Satisfy this one. It should be satisfied. It must be greater than 2m. Second one is, and must be created also four. Okay. But when you take a look over here to solve this one, okay, you're gonna send the equation. So three n plus four n equals seventy six. Okay. So I'll try this one. Four n equals seventy six minus three n. That's right? Okay. So the next one is, what is the value of n? m equals 76 minus 3n, n over 4, right? That's the relation between number of games m and n, right? That's the equations over here. Also, you can express by n in terms of m, but this is better because why? The number of 3n 
Games is given in the options already. There are only five numbers. Okay. So to find the variable n, we start what n m is greater than four, two m is greater than eight, n is greater than eight, right? This number in there until you find the correct answers. But I think what the best way because your options for options five options is already there, you can check out these options very quickly. That is the best way. This we said back solving. Okay? Because we know that the value of m should be integer, right? So in on each division, total is 36. On each division, 30n, right? That is 36. If this is 36, we can check it out. Okay? If this is 36, m is how much? 1 by 1, okay? 70 minus 3n equals 36 over 4. 76 minus 36 is how much? 40, right? 40 over 4 equals 10. So m is 10. n equals how much? 36 divided by 3 is what? 12. Using this result, check it out. m is greater than 4? Yes. n is greater than 2 times n. n is greater than 2 times n. No. This is 20, this is 12. 12 is not greater than 20, right? So this is not working. The next one, check out the 48. Quickly, okay? Check out the 48. If this is 48, 76 minus 48 is what? 28, right? 28. N over 4 equals 7. M is 7. M is 7. What about N? N equals what? 3N over 3 and equal 48, 48 divided by 3 is just 16. Check it out. M is greater than 4. That's true. What about N? Is this 16 is greater than 2 times of M? This is 14, right? Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that's the answer. Okay? So choice B is the answer. That's, I think, good idea, right? Because the options is given. If not, you can try to print there N equals 9 or 10 until you find the correct answers. That's right. Okay, and also you have to check right this constraint again. Right? So how do you think? I think back serving is better, right? More comfortable. That's right. Okay. So try to use back serving after you set up the equation. Okay? Alright, this is called die painting equation. Okay? All the solutions required integer solution, okay? This is integer, this is already integer, right? If this is, for example, uh, if you have options uh, 25 over here, when you divide by three, this is the value of three n, right? When you divide by three, that is not integer. At the beginning, right? This is a cross out, that's right? Okay, but on this all five options, they are all what? When you divide by three, the integer, right? 36 over 3, 12. This is 16, 18, 20, 24, right? So you have to check right from the beginning, okay? All right. Back solving, right? This is very useful, okay, to solve the AMC8 because the AMC8 time is very short, okay? So you have to go very quickly, okay? All right. Thank you. I'll show you in the next video.